good afternoon. I am here with uh, Mark and Michelle Kemp. They are the Hi. business owners for Tremont Coffee. Um, and we get to learn a little bit about how they got started and a little bit more about their business. So um, either one, Mark or Michelle, can you guys started in 2016, is that right? Yep. Can you tell us a little bit about what got you into the coffee business and how you got started? Um, that, that's a that's a long, that's a lifetime worth of questions right there. We but got time. We, we got, got time. Nice. We got more coffee. Um, 2016, we actually started Tremont Coffee as, as a real business. Um, years before that, we, we, we did develop a passion for drinking coffee. I mean, um, that stemmed from working midnights, having a child, <laughs> trying to figure out how to take care of that child and staying awake and while you're at work. So I, I never really drank coffee until I was in my late 20s. Or, yeah, I was probably 30 years old yeah. before I really actually started liking coffee. Right. Um, and then it slowly became something that Michelle and I shared together. It was like a, a, a thing that we did as, as our, um, you know, you have a baby, you don't take them into bars and all that stuff. So what do you do? You know, you go, on, you, you go, yeah, coffee <laughs> dates, you go to a coffee shop. We used to go to Cafe Gelato's here in North Canton. I mean, we... Um, it's just became a part of our life and our lifestyle. Um, you go on vacation somewhere, you check out the, the, the local coffee shop, right? I mean, that's what we do. That's our thing, you know, right. go to the beach, where's the coffee shop? That's, yeah. that's, that's always been yeah. us. So, um, so tell us a little bit about your North Canton menu. Is it the same menu at all of your locations? No. Um, okay. well, while all of the coffee drinks for the most part are the same. Okay. Um, and we, we do strive for them to be made the same. Yes. Um, there is there are some nuances with some of the food items. Oh, okay. Um, some like our Perry as an example, Perry doesn't have breakfast sandwiches and things like that. But now we have them here. Okay. Uh, Maslin has had them for a year or so now. So um, our Maslin location's much bigger, and and the location's much bigger that we can do some other things that we can't do at the smaller ones, the smaller right. drive-throughs. So. That, that gives us an opportunity to kind of be the place that try tries new items yeah. and that first. So, so what I've heard um, from feedback of the community of North Canton is they love the location, they love that there's a drive-through, and just the ambiance and the setting. Um, did you have any sort of inspiration behind that, or how did you decide on how to make it look and feel the way it did? I feel like we went with what we like. It, yeah. where we feel comfortable. Um, our very first location in Maslin was not the one that we're currently in right now. It was much smaller. It was maybe even smaller. Yeah, it was smaller, smaller than, than this, this yeah. building. And we just created a very industrial vibe in there. Mm -hmm. um, and then when we were given the opportunity to move into the building we're in now, which is literally a gigantic warehouse, um, it just went along with that industrial feel. So we wanted everywhere that we opened then from that point to be comfortable yet industrial well, time. Plus, now on top of that, when you when you said it's it's us, it the colors, yeah, the the finishes, the lights, those things are things that are actually in our home. I mean, it's mm -hmm. it's an extension of us. It's not it really it's not just a Pinterest post like that's cool. Like it's right. it's literally that's how we live. Right. Um, the colors that we like gravitate like I wear black all the time. Like it's 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 just kind of me, you know. Yeah. So I, mm -hmm. um, I do fight that maybe it's too um industrial sometimes maybe it doesn't have that warm feeling that some places do but again it's just it's an extension of how we feel like it makes yes. us comfortable so that's right. what that's what we do now so right um do you guys come up with some of the creations and tell us about your your favorite one we come up with all the creations <laughs> sorry so, no i mean it just it's been time and time of us just kind of testing, playing with the different flavors. Um, probably our biggest selling drink is the Morning Moonshine, um, what, the Honey Badgers, right. another big one. So, that we've kind of just come but out but with even right even those those are you know going back five years ago. It was some, uh, our number one selling drink now was created with Michelle and a customer that came in every day, mm -hmm. trying to find that thing that she just wanted right yeah. really and she's like oh this oh i absolutely love this and and that and became the morning moonshine think. okay so what is in the morning moonshine morning moonshine if you get it hot is a caramel vanilla triple latte uh you get it ice it's a nitro caramel vanilla latte same for frozen so it's sweet it's got a nice kick behind it you want that caffeine to get going in the morning and it's definitely got it for you 
We've branched into a couple other flavors now of the moonshines. We okay. have a raspberry. We have um, the peppermint one. Uh, and those are going to be white chocolate or dark chocolate with either raspberry or uh, but they all get, I couldn't think of the name, but they all get... They get the three shots. They, get, so they all get the three shots yeah. for the nitro. Three yeah. shots is where it's at. <laughs> Sometimes <laughs> even no, four. I'm, honestly, I'm, yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm four probably. Quite a few yeah. people still come in and get it with an extra shot. <laughs> an I'm like, all right, shot. get your day going. Let's get the day yeah, going. Let's move on. Yep. Well, thank you so much for sitting down and talking with us. And we can let the community know a little bit more about what's brewing here <laughs> at Tremont. Um, feel free to stop by, please. It is right down the street from our office at Main Street. It is right here in the heart of North Canton, Tremont Coffee. Um, come have a seat out on the patio or inside and be sure to get your stamp for our Love Living Local Passport. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Thanks for coming.